Hello everybody and welcome back to a very exciting Anno episode because in episode number 50 we are finally going to build the palace and the central place of Crown Falls we finished. But first of all we have a look at our subtle archaeological exhibition that we finished and we got an item that I haven't seen so far. So we got a legendary frozen woolly mammoth out of this one here and I'm really excited to showcase that in a museum even though it will probably be just a normal small building um neanderthal skeleton here we have as well origin of mankind set i haven't seen that yet as well so this is attractiveness plus 50 and legendary there as well so really cool items that we got out of this one out of this grand exhibition there and yeah we're looking at our well place of action in this episode i want to finish this whole central plaza here so we're not only going to have the court of justice here or well our dip diplomacy that is our embassy um and our uh, exhibition here our monument and the palace and finished with a huge garden here surrounding all of that yeah, as well insane. looking forward to that before we start with the actual nitty-gritty things let's have a look at our exhibition uh, expedition because our zoological one has returned in that case here black swallower epic helmet jellyfish rare and pelican rare well not the most exciting items that we get out of the expedition uh, let's turn in or let's return our items for that we don't need that any longer and yeah in this cargo ship here i've also prepared lots of zoological items and museum items and items for the botanical gardens that we can fill those um things then because well attractiveness wise we are only an appealing metropolis and this definitely needs to change so let's go with the items that we just got there's the mammoth the frozen one oh and we can actually see that that's pretty cool 50 attractiveness too so that's picturesque metropolis now that we are at and here we have the neanderthal skeleton yes well this is a building as expected we still have something here we can go with the mizoan temple very nice another legendary item on display here now Pay, uh, while boosting our attractiveness even more then we got the proto ceratops x jurassic and yeah let's see toy kwamuk another building that we have here and over here we have well two rare items but well as you know we can then replace them with other items then if we get better ones so that now all the plots have been filled here with the museum so far um in that case here attractiveness is pretty high for the next level there so we can probably push the next level there with our botanical garden so let's well fill in those houses here that we have or well these uh, moon orchids that we have there and the marshmallow almost it's not quite the next level but having a few more plots in the botanical garden we have lots of space here as you can see that's it now let's finally go for the center for the center what i want to do is first of all we need to get rid of that street here we do however need to keep us the warehouse here for the future as well um for the warehouse it's a bit more difficult where to place it we do need it for the exhibitions because the um grand exhibition always needs um you know the items from the warehouse there so that's something we need to we need to keep in that regard i need to find a suitable location close by where i can have my warehouse but where it isn't too visible and yeah this is the place here this is the place we still have a bit of room here the only downside that i can think of right now is that we probably will need to get rid of one of these uh, buildings here in the center then even though i might try and perhaps we can actually keep it there but nope it's not looking good so we are definitely going to get rid of one of these um buildings here in that case it's probably this um corner building here and there we can then squeeze in yeah one of our warehouses there we do have what i can see here is a pop that we no longer need here and the school yeah, let's keep the school for now but probably something that we're also not going to need any more than soon let's have a street then going in here or through that one here there we have the connection and there we have then the connection for the grand exhibition to get the items from the warehouse and here well here we do have whoops a bit of room for well some smaller park or something like that whatever we might want to push in there later then right around the whole compound here or at least the lower compound i would like to have well let's start off with a fence so usually i'm um, having a fence there as a border does wonders Plus, it gives me a bit of attractiveness there, so that's the fine. Right, and we're just going to push it all the way to the other side there. So, no street for now for my exhibition, because I don't know where I want to have it then, you know. And then here as well. Here then, 
we have this central place then. So I'm going to get rid of the street here because I want to have the palace with this, the other side here connected. So let's get rid of that here as well. And the streets there. And those streets there. Those streets. So for now they don't have a street connection at all. Right. Um, then the thing is, let's put it in here, right? So we have the fence going then all the way, all the way down here too. So around the palace there as well. Walling the whole thing off. We need the corners. On those sides here. Right. -o. And then we do need the entrances. Now I would like to have an entrance up here then. And an entrance down here right where we have the main street. So here probably. Right. That is the thing. And let's try to keep it there. Those four tiles I need to get rid of. Right. Then it's the center there that we have. And I can get rid of this one here. Right, so that we've walled the whole thing off. And two entrances here on either side. That should be fine. Um, probably for the palace, we're going to have a bigger entrance here as well. That we can have some... A gateway. And then probably... Well, let's see. On the other side there, that's... How many tiles are there? This one here. Right, so this one now. Then we have an entrance here, 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 and here. And, well, around that we can then place our ornaments. Right, so one thing that I see is that I really don't want to have the embassy here after all. Because we we're going to have a huge palace on that side. And here we're going to have the grand exhibition more or less in the center. And then on either side we have some parks. So I do need to find a w uh, another location for the embassy here. Looking around the city, what I can see is that we do have some empty space here. We do have a market house that no one here needs anymore. Um, we do have a school here that no one needs here anymore. And we do have a fire station that we probably do need. But let's just squeeze it in down there somewhere. And then we have a few buildings. And I want to, well, get them over here. You know, so we do have a bit of space there. There was the church and another marketplace. So both of them I have relocated to that area here. And in that case here, that should be fine now. Or better. As we can see. So I'm not going to destroy those investor buildings, of course. We're just going to have another block of buildings here then. That should do it, right? That's actually a nice block there. And then we can have another one here. There is a monument, uh, uh, an ornament that's in the way. And then we have a bit of space here now for the embassy. And here we can then have, well, another street going through that. That we can have then actually more investor buildings here if we want to and a few more ornaments. What I can see here too is we have still lots of beautification to do, especially in those... Um, districts here with the engineers but let's focus on what's important right now right now we have the embassy over here let's get it there to the other side this is a better location for the embassy in that case um just where we have the bank we could actually what i can see here right now is we could actually well relocate the bank there a bit as well so let's see where we could have the bank having the bank over here can we do that no we cannot do that so after all, I will need the bank somewhere down here and then the embassy here. That's fine, actually, because they fit to each other down here, you know, so they can look at each other from both sides. And I don't know, we are, we're going to make this more beautiful than later. So now we have the uh, grand exhibition here. That means, of course, now that we do need the um, warehouse a bit more closer again and since we have it here. So I will need to get rid of one of these here, so probably... As much as it hurts, I will get rid of this block here. I can, though, still use a bit of space that we have um, from the other parts of the city. So I don't need to get rid of it altogether. In that case here, let's get the warehouse over there again. And let's actually squeeze in some investors into this area there. Right, so this actually fits. There we have a few buildings. This one here might look a bit better than... Yeah, that's that's more beautiful. Look at that. Having this beautiful corner here. I love those buildings. And here we can then have our warehouse. Which will of course upgrade to the highest level there. So it does look ornamental as well. We actually still have a bit of room here then for something. Seductive charts, very much. 
Yes. No expeditions. I don't care about expeditions so far. And yeah, here we can now have our connection. Our road connection then to the Grand Exhibition. Looking like that. So we have a bit of room there on either side. Actually, what we could do here is we could make this a whole block of street. You know, and in the middle here we can have an ornament or something like that. For example, what comes to mind here would be that um, long fountain. Yeah, something like that. So the gears of the era that we have here, those monuments that we haven't, or ornaments that we haven't used so far. And I think they fit in here nicely just where we have then our great exhibition just over here. Right, so that's that. Um, we do have the warehouse here too. Um, we can close off the the fence here if we want to. So we have two uh, options for that. Either way, we have the fence closing in like that right away. I think this is a good one. Or we have the fence closing in up here and have another corner here. I think this is also working out nicely. And I think I like this more. Yes, so we have the fence up there. So we do need the same thing here. Right on either side, having a nice little entrance here for the grand exhibition on that side. Of course, that leaves us with the other side. Now, the other side is a bit more complicated. We're going with, um, we're starting off with a street here. But that street on either side is going to be, um, is going then to turn into those pavings that we have. Yeah, something like that. So those uh, pavings here, and they are, like this one here is a normal paving, and this one here is a modded one, which is a street then as well. So it kind of like functions like a street, the normal one like this one here, and then it should be fine. Now, something I hear, I don't like here is the contrast then between the paved road and the paved road here. So we do need some kind of like a connection between them that makes sense. And in this case here, I'm thinking about gates. You know, we do have these gates here, um, we do have, however, some other gates as well that I've seen. Might be those gates there. They would actually then fit, you know, with the fence. So that's a good one, right? Um, having that here. Let's see. We have... Here, that one and that one. And this just looks beautiful. This looks... This makes sense, too, because we have then the, the fence here with that paving there. And this separates it then with the inner paving that we have here in the center there. Oh, one of our rescue missions actually needs our attention there. Mutiny, um, arrange a meeting with the leaders. And we reach an understanding very good. Though the morale drops quite quickly here. This is a three-star rescue mission and we're only at 33% here. I don't think we're going to, to be able to finish this one here. Now that we have the paving there, that's fine. So we can do the same thing on the other side. We'll just need the entrance here then into the monument district. Of course, where we are residing as well, perhaps with Bent at some point. That is looking fine. So there we have the exits and the entrances then. The other thing is then we need um, this one here then as well for the palace. But first of all, we need a layout for the palace. Um, I think... Can we actually go with the blueprinted ones right away? Yes, we can actually go with a blueprinted one. That's fine. So I don't need to place the palace first. You know, in that case here, we can just start with those palace wings. And as you can see, we got lots of them. We got some gates here too. Now the gate makes a sense over here then as an entrance into the palace area. And yeah, we, we're going to have the gate then probably so it matches the world fair. And then we can have those wings on either side going then into these different directions. Let's see, we do have another special wing here. This one there. This should be fine, because then we can have this ending here, which I like, and then we can continue up here, right? In that case, we need to be very careful when placing the palace though, because if I get rid of this middle button here now, um, this little wing here, as you can see, the whole other wing here or the wings here turn red that means they're all disappearing that was a mistake when i built the palace for the first time that i destroyed it so many times uh, without purpose you know and you cannot undo it again in that case so that we have on this side the same thing then on that side here so it's i think one two three four going over there and then we can have this one where we then have the finish here. 
even though ah uh, yeah it's not totally symmetric so in that case here um we might yeah we might just make this one here one tile shorter than if i want to or we make this one sh one tile shorter here either long here or shorter here the thing is this is a four tile one this is a three tile road here you know so in that case we could make this one here larger with four tiles and this one here smaller with three tiles no idea yet that is something for later it's not really urgent definitely not going to experience rethink the whole center here though right and then we can go this way um we might now go with a cross here so the crossing would have then let's see another palace wing here so we have then those three times on either side and here we can then go into the middle or into the center there with perhaps the first or actually we could make this one here one large inner wall and then an, another outer wall but no i don't think that i'm going to like that too much so we're going to make this one here shorter and yeah we could have the wing end then here the same thing on the other side then i think this makes more sense right and then we continue here two times and then we're probably going to have a junction like that this junction here ends once again with a palace wing end though yeah it's fine though on that side and here we continue then with another wall going over here now here we need to be careful there we have the gate in that case here we can have though three gates side by side that's fine that keeps the symmetry and then we continue here once again to the other side here we do need another junction this one and then we have that one here we have another junction like that because then we can have another ending here oh right and here we have a crossing actually not a junction so in that case here if i get rid of this one now as you can see the other parts are disappearing again this is really a bit aggravating that is something that should have been fixed by now because i don't understand why <laughs> we make it that that way it's a bit frustrating especially when you do it long oh we actually have a corner here too that would be on one side only but we don't need that here really here i want to have a junction though and then we have a palace end and here another connection so that would be the palace on a blueprint is this one going a bit too far now in here it's with the third one so this one here actually that we have the ending here too right I think it looks like a nice little pl uh, palace here. We could still modify it later though if we want to. We could even go then to the other side here too with the palace if we wanted to, you know, on either side of the, the walls fair then with some wings there. Actually, that's not so bad, you know, because uh, yeah, it would fit in here symmetrical. So we could continue here then, going then down here and here. <laughs> so we kind of like incorporate the walls fair then into the palace. That would be something interesting. We can do that later, you know, it's not, not finished here. That one, however, is already a pretty big palace. So the problem that we're going to have here is, of course, costs. And that thing, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to finish this place here. So I'm not going to um, advance to the walls fair yet. But it is an option for later that we might have. All right, a little road connection there as well to the palace central grounds. And don't worry, I mean this is huge, but we're going to add some ornaments then to that huge. Um, well, how do you say that? It's not an alley, but it's an, an avenue or something like that here. A big one. And in that case here, I think... Yeah. This one here still. All right, so that's a bit symmetrical there. Going through those three gates here. And it's a bit naked there, but we're going to add more ornaments as we continue. Now, for now, let's actually build the palace. And what we can see is the radio is huge. Just look at that. All the blue streets are within the influence radius of the palace. Um, since the palace is so big, it's not only the main building that counts towards the influence, but also the, 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 the modules here. So those modules here being connected, um, they will then add more to the influence. And it 
actually goes down here to the harbor, to the harbor here. That's exactly what we want because we got lots of bony from that palace that influenced the harbor area, influenced the residential area and stuff like that. And I think having it in the center is thus the best way. And it actually fits in here quite nicely. So I think it is time. Let's build the palace. <laughs> oh, and we've built everything with 1-1. One, one. Very good. So we probably reach quite the high levels there as well. Beguiling Metropolis. So we, well, I guess we got a few thousand attractiveness there as well when it comes to that. And we have unlocked a new funeral buildings as far as I can just see. I don't know which buildings though that would be in that case here. Oh yeah, the local department. That is something for the other islands then if we want to have that bony. But there it is, the palace. We actually were able to finish all the modules there and capital news unveiling this of palace herald's government's happy. ambition for more efficient lawmaking extracar refuses to reveal how extravagant building costs will be paid for see part six for our own walker haggard staring crown jewel pawn theory that's the one um it cost me though quite a lot of money holy holy moly that was expensive i mean when we look at that even the main building alone cost one million so i think each kind of like wing here cost that much and as we can see we're pretty much capped there with the palace wings you know we cannot build more modules really five more modules would be fine but that's it then so i think um build additional wings to widen the range of your palace main building the number of wings you can build increases as your profile level grows based on global population oh fine very good so we're not capped at 52 this actually goes up the more people we have, the, more, the higher our global population is there. All departments have a base effect that applies to the target buildings as long as they are within range of the palace. For example, all town halls connected by street to the palace are affected by the Department of Administration. Right, so there we have now all these departments here that we've unlocked and each one of these departments can issue a, well, policy. One policy at a time. And with that, let's have a look at the Department of Administration. So the general effect is 50 island workforce per town hall, right? Over here, for example, Department of Trade, 200 tons island storage per harbor master office. So those are permanent effects that we have now, plus 10 area of influence for all public buildings. And as we can see, all the public buildings are being highlighted. Um, that's pretty cool too. Then we have the Department of Labor affects all these um, trade units, so plus 10 productivity. And then we have Department of Culture that affects um, public mooring plus 20% visiting chance uh, for specialists. In that case here, this one's affected already. Pretty good. So we have everything within the range here. And now, for example, let's go with, let's have a look at Department of Culture. As we can see, we do need a bit more attractiveness here before we can unlock more cards. So we do have the Conservation Act, Estate Collections. Um, art and this one here, Right to Remain Act. I think the most powerful one out of these is the Welfare. Nope, it's not the Welfare. Where was the most important or the most powerful one? I don't know. We are probably going to unlock more of them because there was this plus attractiveness for each residential area in its vicinity or something like that that pushed us right to the cap of attractiveness but in that case here let's add some few things here department of administration so we do have plus uh, oh, 30 percent reduced need for all foods um that would affect the residences um for sausage bread canned food chocolate let's go with that right and in that case here connected town halls so this one here reduces now the cost of all foods then the next one would be the Department of Culture plus three influence per museum module or plus one reward from World's Fair event. Let's go with the influence and just have a look at how much it pushes it. We have 134 and now we have 200 influence. Okay, so it pushes our influence there a bit. At the moment, I think it's a good idea because we're quite low on the influence there. So yeah, why not just have that plus one reward World's Fair is pretty good too, but it's just plus one. Um, Department of Labor. Um, extra goods from the farms, extra goods from heavy factories. Do we have heavy factories in the vicinity? I don't think so. Not really. Perhaps they count towards that to those extra goods. But that's a weak one um, because we don't have anything. Oh, down here we have actually something for canned food. Right, so this pushes the 
productivity of them. But of course, we do have a bit batch of things here then. For example, oh yes, Miss Hunt. Um, plus 50% productivity from electricity, plus a minus 50% workforce. That's pretty good too. So we need to unlock them later. Here, plus, oh, that's the one. Plus three attractiveness for artisan and engineer residences. This is just totally totally um over the board because this will cap us most likely we are beguiling metropolis let's see impeccable metropolis new palace level um and with this we have the highest level i think for the influence is that right no actually there's still another one a flawless ineffable beauty like moon dust settled upon ice shards <laughs> all right that's the one that we are right now that's very important too because with the attractiveness levels we unlock new module buildings and new effects for the palace so for example here now with the labor new palace level as you can see we have unlocked those two now here plus 50 percent productivity for electricity minus 50 percent workforce needed that however only affects the artisans here so we could go with plus 50 percent for the electricity i think that's a bit better then Right, and here we do have the influence per module. That's fine. Um, I need to, I need to force ceasefire with Miss Hunter real quick. I know you don't like that, but no big war for the moment. I want to, I want to focus on the beauty of my city. Of course, the big war with Miss Hunt is coming again at some point. So that's that. Um, then we have another one that's really cool. That is the Department of Trade. Two hundred tons of iron storage for the. Harbor Master, so that's one here, and we should have one down here too. Nope, we don't, so we should probably go with one there. Let's see what we can go here for. Plus 300 productivity for all coastal production buildings. Pretty powerful for the sand especially. 50 tons for depot, 200 tons oil storage, and plus item slot for Harbor Master. Of course, this one is the best one here. Minus 50% loading times for ships at trading posts and piers. So this is another huge boost for the trading then that we have. But for now, hmm, let's go with plus 50 tons for each depot, right? I think that's a good one. Over here, um, reduces food plus influence for engineer residences. Another very powerful one. Um... That should push us quite a bit there. Plus one influence for engineer residences. Oh, connected with town halls. So that's something else, right? We do need more town halls in Crown Falls. That's important. Here, this is important. This we keep for sure. We haven't reached the highest attractiveness though. So that gives us motivation to um, expand our botanical garden, our museum. And of course, the zoo that we haven't built yet here. We have a beautiful location for the zoo though. Um, but so far, so good. We have finished at least the palace now, and we have finished the world's fair. Um, and then, of course, we're going to add more or ornaments here, um, and the zoo, of course, up here to reach the highest attractiveness level before we head for the Arctic there. And with that, stay tuned. <laughs> 